بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله among the characteristics of the believer that Allah سبحانه وتعالى mentions in Surah Al-Mu'minun the chapter entitled The Believers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Indeed the believers are successful in and of itself before we even get to any characteristics of the mu'mineen it gives us hope that being from Ahli Iman that we will have success because often we see around the world Ahli Iman being tested Ahli Iman seemingly to fail Ahli Iman behind but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised and indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's promises are true قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Verily, the believers are successful. الَّذِينَ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Those who have khushur in their prayer. And that is what I wanted to discuss, Ahabatifillah, as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters of the importance of Salat. And that having khushur, that contentment, that comfort, that humility before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that that's one of the successful traits. That is the most successful trait. As many people we see who write about these topics from non-Muslims and Muslims about how to be successful. Indeed, the believers are successful. Those those who have khushur fi salat. So this humility is something we want to strive for. And with regards to this striving to gain this humility, that means we're focused in our salat. That means when we pray, we see it as an act of ibadah. That means that the prayer is not simply something we rush to complete. And often we find this, we find this because we pray. Well, alhamdulillah, those of us who are trying to practice our Islam in any shape or form, who are concerned about the relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who know the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said, Man taraka salat fakad kafir, fakad kafara, that the one who leaves the prayer has disbelieved. So those who keep that in mind and who pray, alhamd, then they need to take their salat more serious, take it to the next level. And I know myself that often we pray our sunnahs or sometimes if for some reason we're not in the masjid, that we sometimes race to just perform the duty of the salat, alhamdulillah, but without the khushu, without really having the tu'ma'nina, the, the comfort and the concentration that the salat is. And another misconception of Habatifillah is to think that only the Sufis, that this is a part of their da'wah, or that they achieve this, but Ahlul Sunnah doesn't achieve this. La, abadin. Because Ahlul Sunnah is those, first and foremost, who are the mu'minun. If they're practicing, 
if they're believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're practicing the principles of Islam. The principles of Ahl uh, Sunnah are, uh, are the principles of Ahl Islam. They are the pillars of Iman. They are the pillars of Islam. So by focusing on your relationship with your Lord Subhanahu and realizing and using your time wisely to come closer to Allah, to focus on your ibadah, to strive to please your Lord, to strive to gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having khawf and raja, fearfulness of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fearful that perhaps your ibadah might not be accepted. And raja hopes that for the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hope that your ibadah will be accepted. So this is the affair of the mu'min. This is where the mu'min has to, this is where the mu'min focus, focuses his or her attention and is striving to come to and reach that higher level of ibadah and use that ibadah as something that will bring them closer to their Lord and as a means of softening their hearts and as a means of attaining the Rida Allah. And we seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure, we seek His favor, we ask for His forgiveness, we ask for His guidance. رَبَّنَا لَا تَزِدْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ دَدَيْتَنَا وَحَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُونْكَ رَحْمَةً إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَابِ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيَّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى عَلَيْهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَمَ